Hi, I'm Ryan Fisher. I'm a partner here at Low Eckland Wakefield. And this is my dog, Murray. He's a Boston Terrier French Bulldog Rescue. And uh, we love dogs here at Low Eckland. Just about everybody has one. But I show you, Murray, because I'm here to talk about dog bites today. Dog bites are uh, the number one liability claim made under homeowners policies here in Ohio. On any given day in the United States, over a thousand people are admitted to emergency rooms with injuries from a dog bite. And uh, in the, uh, over the course of a year, over four million people are injured in dog bites in the United States. Uh, dog bite law in Ohio is one of the few areas that's actually favorable to the victim. It's a statutory cause of action, which means there's actually a law that controls dog bite cases. The statute of limitations to bring a case for injuries sustained in a dog bite is six years, which is a little bit unusual. Most negligence cases are two years, but a dog bite isn't a negligence case. So you actually have six years to bring that lawsuit. And um, it doesn't matter if the dog has ever bitten anybody before. Sometimes people think, well, the dog's never bitten anyone before, uh, so you kind of get this free bite rule, people call it. Well, in Ohio, that free bite rule doesn't apply. If someone's dog bites you and it's the first time that dog's ever bitten anybody, it doesn't matter. They're responsible for the injuries that that dog causes. Um, there's there's uh, three exceptions or three defenses to a dog bite case. So if somebody's dog bites you, they're responsible, period, except for these three exceptions, and I'll read it to you from the, uh, from the Ohio Revised Code. And, and the defenses are, if the victim was committing or attempting to commit a trespass or other criminal offense on the property of the owner, keeper, or harborer, or was committing or attempting to commit a criminal offense against any person, or was teasing, tormenting, or abusing the dog on the owner, keeper's, or harborer's property. So basically what that says is, if somebody comes onto your property uh, without permission or for the purposes of committing a crime, they want to come onto your property and beat you up or steal something and your dog attacks them, then you are not responsible to that person uh, who has committed that wrongful act and who subsequently has gotten bitten by the dog. Frankly, my opinion is you deserve it. If you go and try to steal someone's TV and their dog attacks you, you kind of get what you, what, uh, what's coming to you. If you are abusing the dog, if you go up to somebody's dog and you decide you're going to abuse it and that dog bites you, you can't sue the owner of the dog. If you're teasing or provoking the dog and the dog bites you, you can't sue the owner of the dog. But those are the only exceptions. So if you're at the park and someone's dog runs up to you and bites you and injures you, then that owner of that dog is responsible for your injuries. Um, what to do if you're bit by a dog? First of all, report it to the police and report it to the Board of Health or the Animal Warden. Different communities have uh, different words for the, uh, for the person who handles the dog bite cases. Sometimes it's the Animal Warden or the Dog Warden or the Board of Health. But it's important to do that. Uh, and then their number one job is to make sure that that dog has had its rabies vaccine. Uh, so the Board of Health will, will contact the owner. They will contact the vet that the owner used and make sure that the dog has uh, its rabies vaccine. If it does not, the owner will be instructed to quarantine that dog for 10 days, and we all know what quarantine means, unfortunately. Uh, or if the owner refuses to quarantine the dog, the animal warden will, will take the dog and will quarantine it for 10 days. Get medical treatment. One out of five dog bite cases, or one out of five dog bite injuries become infected. Dogs' mouths aren't real clean, so when you get bit by a dog, it's important you get medical attention. Um, take pictures. Take pictures of the injury that you sustained. Take pictures as uh, that wound is healing. Uh, take pictures of the scar at the end. We can't, as lawyers, we can't go back in time and get those pictures after that wound has healed. Um, call a lawyer. Uh, call an experienced dog bite lawyer like the lawyers here at Low Eckland Wakefield. Uh, we'll take care of your case. We know these cases inside and out. We have a lot of experience with them. Get the medical treatment that you need. After you go to the emergency room, follow up with your doctor, and then depending on how your, uh, how your injuries develop, you may need to see an infectious disease doctor, you may need to see a neurologist, you may need to see a plastic surgeon, but get whatever treatment you need. And again, keep the photographs uh, as you develop, or as your, uh, as your wounds recover. 
Um, that's about it for Dog Bites. If you have any questions, you can call us here at Low FM. We'll be glad to talk to you. Have a great summer. Enjoy your dog. Enjoy other people's dogs. But if you're not familiar with the dog, be very careful around them. Have a great summer.